Oh, what's up you guys? I'm not amazing. I'm just mediocre. Welcome back to the channel and this Apex Legends video. Today, Respawn Entertainment just released another dev stream in advance of our system override event coming tomorrow that detailed a whole bunch of awesome patch changes that are coming in addition to the sweet event that's coming a while. So there's going to be character nerfs. There's going to be character buffs. There's also going to be general changes to some quality of life. So let's get right into all the details that they released coming tomorrow with our system override event. First up, we have a Bloodhound buff. At the start of the season, they already gave Bloodhound a buff by giving you the ability to increase your Beast of Hunt time with every kill you achieve. And now, they're also going to increase the power and utility of Bloodhound's Eye of the All-Father ability. You actually ha can see this inside the trailer. As Bloodhound uses that ability, you can see it's massive. And in the dev stream, they actually specifically said they tripled its size and the intent of this change is that it's a pre-fight kind of information gathering tool the idea is that you walk up to a town or a large building and then you use the eye of the all father to get an idea of where the people might be in that area because it's now so massive you will be able to see the entire town with one single ping we're also going to see Gibraltar get a small nerf. He's gotten a lot of buffs recently, a lot of utility increased as a legend, but it was a little bit too much, so they took the gun shield and decreased that from 75 to 50 health in the gun shield to improve the ability to fight a Gibraltar face-to-face one-on-one. -on -one. Not exactly the change I was hoping for. What I really would like to see is the damage absorbing capability. Doesn't seem like they changed it, but no matter what kind of damage you put into that shield, it absorbs all of it. So you can crack him with a Kraber for 145 damage, and it will all go into the gun shield, and none of it will actually pass through to Gibraltar himself. And that's actually the change that I want to see. I want to see his gun shield no longer able to absorb a full Kraber shot and just wipe it off like nothing happened. The next change they detailed was a change to your general inventory, which is combined with a change to the throwables. They felt like people had too many throwables, and it was just creating some unfun situations, especially in the late game, where you wouldn't be able to move past the wall of grenades, arc stars, and thermites thrown at you. So, what they did was decrease the amount of throwables you can carry in a stack. It's no longer two throwables in a stack, it's one throwable per stack. So you can carry one arc star in a stack, one thermite in a, an inventory block, but what they did to counterbalance that is actually increase your standard backpack size by two. So instead of starting with eight backpack slots, you will now start with 10 backpack slots and every backpack you get will increase that by two so you can get up to 12 14 or 16 backpack slots with the purple or gold backpack in addition to that they adjusted the stack size of a few other items your syringes and shield cells will only stack to four instead of six your med kits and your batteries will only stack to two instead of three and then your light and heavy ammo will only stack to 60 instead of 80. And so this whole balancing adjustment is generally meant to make it so that you can't hold as many throwables, but the decreased stack sizes don't actually affect the amount of inventory you can really carry inside a game. The last quality of life change they detailed was the muzzle flash. I think you can actually see it right here, where there's practically no muzzle flash on this alternator. And apparently, it was actually a, a pretty difficult change to make because the way the muzzle flashes render changes depending on the lighting of the environment, whether you're outside, inside, and all that stuff. So there was actually a lot of adjustment that had to happen in order to make that change successful. But we should all be noticing less muzzle flash while playing the game, and that'll make it easier to actually see your targets while aiming down sights and land those shots. Now, they also showed off a good amount of detail about the Evo Shield that will be coming. This brand new loot item will start weaker than a base white shield at 25 extra health, but can increase to stronger than a purple or gold shield, giving you an extra 125 health once fully evolved. And they actually showed off exactly how much damage you need to do that in the trailer. 
right there you can see the first evolution takes 100 damage to achieve that will give you 50 extra health. The next evolution costs 300 damage to achieve, and that will give you the same health as an epic shield, a purple shield. And then your final evolution costs 500 damage, and that will turn your shield into the most powerful shield in the game at 125 extra health. So the idea here is that you are actually going to need to choose which shield you want to get. Do you want that gold shield that will give you healing items really fast or do you want that evo shield with the 25 extra health to your loot pool that's a choice you're going to have to make and you can pick these up fully evolved from somebody else's body so if you manage to kill somebody who already has a fully evolved red evo shield you can totally swipe that from them and not have to do any of the work that was required now the purpose of this new loot item is a little bit twofold. It's supposed to help reward those hyper aggressive players that are always pushing, always putting out damage, and give them a reward for all of the effort that they put in. But it's also for our long range snipers. It gives you a reason to actually poke out and try to do damage at long range in battles that you might not even be a part of. While you're sitting back putting out damage, not worried about getting killed, you can be evolving that shield and getting your extra powerful, extra strong, 125 extra health. So we got a big old patch coming tomorrow. It's gonna come with some nerfs, it's gonna come with some buffs, it's gonna come with some general quality of life changes along with that brand new mode, 24 Sweet Cosmetics. I'm super excited for this system override event. This seems like, hands down, the best collection event they've ever seen. And make sure you like this video, subscribe to the channel, and watch Meteor Gaming tomorrow morning, because I'll be streaming it all live. In the meantime, I'm not amazing, I'm just Meteor, and I'm out.